got another Series 13 rumour here for you as well. I have no evidence to support this. I just saw some uh, fairly reliable source on Twitter tweet it out. Um, they suggest that the TARDIS will be dying throughout Series 13 and that the Doctor is in a constant mission to fix her up and get her back to work in order. Okay, what's... um? Is there any kind of like set photos or anything for this or is it just kind of a script leak? Uh, it's just kind of a story leak, I think, or a story suggestion. Personally, I think that's quite a fun idea. Um, I know when Pertwee first took over the role, he was earthbound for his first series at least. Um, mm. So I think that would be quite a fun inclusion to suddenly have the Doctor trapped on Earth. Mm. Especially yeah, since a lot of these stories that I've particularly enjoyed are often the ones that are set on Earth. They seem to be the more fun ones. Yeah, people, I know my brother, uh, his favourite episodes of Doctor Who were always the ones that were kind of in modern day contemporary. I think maybe it's just because for us it's kind of easier to kind of latch onto that. It's more identifiable. Although I've always been a big fan of uh, kind of the period uh, historicals, um, yeah. personally. Um, so well, I'd I mean, be lying if I said... Go on. I'd be lying if I said I wouldn't miss that element a bit if the... TARDIS was dying and somehow kind of handicapped in its abilities of what it could do. And I think it would be interesting, yeah, it's like, I feel like the TARDIS is a character that's never really explored, apart from obviously that amazing Neil Gaiman episode, which we'll get to when we get to, but I always feel like there's no real story around it, it's just kind of, this, you know, like in Back to the Future, like the DeLorean is almost a character and it plays an important part of the story in each film. Whereas the TARDIS just seems to be the lynch. It, does, it doesn't seem to sometimes have that much relevance to the story. It's just a means and an ends to get somewhere. I feel like the TARDIS is more character than the DeLorean. The DeLorean is you know, of quite a functional machine, but the TARDIS is very much... It's been quite explicitly said that the TARDIS is alive. And oh, that yeah. regenerates like the Doctor does. Oh, well, okay, maybe what I mean then is like actual stories surrounding the TARDIS. There isn't, to my okay. knowledge. You wish... You'd like some more stories that are actually about the TARDIS itself. Yeah, I feel it just to add a bit more history and a bit more add to the mythology of it would be slightly more exciting. Like, I know my, I go back to my Back to the Future reference, but. You look at all three of those movies and the, the time machine plays such an important part in that. The time travel elements in those films are massively important where it sometimes seems that the actual element of time travel in Doctor Who isn't that important apart from just getting characters to a certain place. Like yeah, once they true. get there, the time travel isn't important anymore. Yeah, I mean, I I kind of... I'm in two minds about this. Um, because, yeah, kind of... Throughout most of Doctor Who, the TARDIS and the time travel and the TARDIS has all kind of been kind of a means to an end. Um, mm. It's very much been kind of a functional storytelling kind of mechanic to allow the Doctor to go anywhere and do anything. But then the stories itself, it rarely serves a purpose. Kind of the main exceptions I can think of is a lot of the stories which Stephen Moffat wrote. Uh, he very much leaned into the possibilities of time travel and what that could do and how he could use time travel in the stories. And whilst that definitely works sometimes, such as in, say, Blink, Blink is a prime example. Yeah. I feel like if you overuse it, it kind of starts to make... Like, there are so many overly complicated time travel plots you know there are so many stories which introduce time travel and it makes things really confusing as a storytelling device and brings up questions like look at something like top of my head um the last avengers film used time introduced time travel and they had to spend ages just explaining how their version of time travel worked yeah just to get you on board with it so i still in don't a way, fully I feel understand like... how it works <laughs> I mean, oh. I mean, to me, I feel like if you were to overuse time travel, it would uh, take away from kind of the charm of Doctor Who and its appeal. Although, you know, if it's used for the occasional story, I'd be down. Yeah, I think it would be fun. Yeah, I'm not talking like a full series worth of it, but like just a, yeah. maybe a nice two, two-part two time travel story would be great fun. Mm, mm. But as in, by time travel story, you mean a story that 
uses the time travel. Yeah, not just one where they travel in time yeah. and then they stay there for 45 minutes and they leave. Yeah. I want to yeah. see them travelling yeah. f- through time multiple times in a relevant story. I have to be honest, I think my main apprehension is probably the Series 6 opener, uh, the two-parter Impossible Astronaut, and what was the second part called? Um. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I can't remember. Yeah, but I think for me, that was a story that really leaned into the time travel element, and I personally found it a bit too much, and I found it started to find it a bit alienating, which, you know, Doctor Who, he's an alien, <laughs> but... Joking aside, <laughs> I just fear about getting an excess of stories that use time travel in that way and prove to be potentially alienating for audience members such as myself, who can struggle to keep up with what's going on. Well, maybe Doctor Who, maybe Doctor Who's just too clever and intelligent for you. Maybe you don't understand it because you just you just just a child and you don't understand this this, this clever science show. Yeah, maybe, maybe I am. Um, maybe I'm just a bit of a nerd. <laughs>